so we again in Thailand near Chiang Mai and today we're going to our tea forest again to open up our tea factory now it's almost done and the construction is almost finished so we now travel there and look how the process is going on now I'm in Leonid house my partner's house and we're going there to the deep deep in the jungles We are in the factory of Leonid to do the wooden slabs and actually here we make a special sign for our deforest project just put it on the top of our truck yeah, and soon we place it on a tea factory Okay. Yep. We're buying a great skinter cup. Yeah. Natural flower aroma for a car. Yeah, I love it. It's often you can find it uh, on the way. So it's like Put it here and it will smell <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is a local type of corn which is not genetically modified, have a different colors. Uh, mostly it's like almost yellow, lighter, lighter yellow, almost white. It's very tasty. And often you can buy it on a road on a road. Finally, we get back to our factory. When I was here in the end of February, it just was built the foundation. But it's yeah, it's finally construction is finished. We brought the sign and we place it over here. It's pretty beautiful. It's a local guy who lives here. Our guardian tried to open up. Are you guys? So we already bring some machinery. We need to also floor. One half already done. The second will be done. Two rollers, two drying machines, also for Hunbei from the Fuzhen <laughs> and see and also for drying tea leaves. So this is a wok for frying shampoo we just put it inside and here it uh, will be built a wok and we'll put here two of those kilns and we will fry shampoo so also i have a crazy idea because uh, here we can have some oolong tea leaves and i want to try fry oolong tea leaves and make shampoo from oolong or something like that so we'll experiment a lot here leonid we have historical moment now. We need to be present here and talk loud of it because it's like a mysterious time. We are in a jungle of my tongue and we are moving our perfect sign of Moicha IT Forest project. We just brought it from Chiang Mai. Yeah, so we just unpack it and uh, they will put the sign on the front of our tea factory. 
Here is the house of our technologist, the guy we found here in the village. He worked before for a royal project and now we dry here our white tea. And we will try some white tea. It's all the things from all the trees of our forest project. And we have, it's almost dry but not yet because it's pretty wet outside, raining. This is why during the rain it's still not ready. But we have a other bunch which is already done. Two leaves, one bud. Yes? Two leaves, one bud. One bud, one, bud, one leaf. One bud. Oh, so it's even better. Almost top quality white tea. This is from uh, Narong Lang. So we have our white tea mm -hmm. already dried. Some people ask what's the main difference between tea forest and tea plantation. Actually now we are on tea plantation, which is just nearby of our forests, our plots of land. Yeah, so here is just a regular plantation and it's also a tourist attraction. So here's a restaurant. They often use it also leaves for preparation kind of food. They make like fried with eggs or something. There's also a very famous uh, local food called Miyang. But it's harvested not from this, but from Asanic trees, which we actually also aware about. And here, so it's here's regular plantation, and it's funny attraction also. As I as I mentioned, you can take one basket and well, two baskets, <laughs> pay five bucks here, yeah, and just go downstairs, walk around, and uh, be like a local tea picker. Yeah, so pretty fun but still of course if you talk about quality of tea uh, the tea trees give us much more than the bushes uh, i already mentioned a lot the reasons why because of course the first it's when it's located in the forest it's not agricultural land and the root system on the big trees much more and you see how big amount of plants uh, here then it's like only uh, bushes so you see that we take much more from the soil and uh, receive less to each tree because so big amount of trees and so small piece of land big big difference of course this doesn't mean that uh, tea from plantation you can't drink but yeah just a different quality and different chachi which is a really value but still yeah i love the trees the trees are beautiful and the bush is also beautiful but i prefer trees somehow yeah here you can even rent small villas or <laughs> bungalows maybe <laughs> better word for this small home house and regularly it's pretty packed of tourists We stay in a very cozy place. Yeah, it's like a homestay in the mountains. Yesterday night was a really hard rain, but now we see bright sky and it's pretty good weather. 
So after rain, a sun, it means that the tea grow perfectly now. So maybe we'll have a harvest in close two or three days uh, because I specially arrived to catch the harvest. And my partner Leonid, uh, he all the time follow up in this issue because it just create kind of a farmer, <laughs> farmer habits, you know, because you, you, need, uh, you need to organize the lifestyle and to check the fields, our forests all the time. And I just want to show again how the forest looks like here. Even uh, mango trees here, yeah, just mango trees, a couple of small houses and again big plot of jungles. And I like how Thailand government organize here even agricultural activities. So uh, the certain amount of wild forest must be kept like that. And uh, it's absolutely prohibited to cut big trees here. Even if it's located on a plantation, some, some times they trim it like that. But for example, on our uh, land, we even didn't trim any wild trees. We only trim tea trees. We do funny experiment comparing uh, the tea from our tea forest when we just harvest also one bud, one leaf. Sometimes it's like that because it's my son harvest. And it smells absolutely incredible. Aroma. And you see the bud and yeah, it's like very fatty, big. And because it's Atsamika cultivar. And here we have a uh, we have drying a little of small oolong tea tree. It's hairy, not even delicate, but not so rich aroma. Yeah, just to compare the difference easily. Doing something like that just for fun. Anyone can do it actually. You don't need to be a technologist to have some funny tea. Uh, to one small factory yeah the guys who just doing coffee mostly but they do kind of very funny uh, technology of making tea uh, it's absolutely not looks like green or like black but it really smells like like crepe of elephant uh, smell. yes actually yeah it's too too much fermentation it almost spoil it yeah I don't know. It's already spoiled. It's already spoiled. Mm. So this is like Sour. instance uh, how it's made here in very rural, <laughs> rude way, you know. Mm. Yeah, and for first we, we grab the leaves, after that the leaves we fry, after that they fer roll, ferment, mm. and after that we dry it on a wok somehow, mm. on a gas. Really strange technology, I never seen something like that. And funny that this guy also do coffee, <laughs> also do cacao, uh, and also have a small cafe, so we can try this tea actually. Uh, it's just the <laughs> strangest technology i ever seen. So this guy also have a mankun farm. Cool cats. But they are very good. They are very good. Hi. Oh, oh. You're trying to fight me, yeah? How are you? Are you okay? Yaroslav, be careful. Because a small tiger can eat your finger easily. Oh. Oh. This is a tea. Ah, haha. Uh -huh. Poor, she said. She said. It's kind of shupur. Shupur. But poor, you didn't need to dry on a wok after that. You just dry on the sun. Yeah, and you ferment it, and it must be not like this smell. This smell, it's like. Oof. It's too not intense. a poor. It's too <laughs> intense, and it's, it's spoiled uh, fermentation. So this packs is for wholesale. 
Yeah, this is unpacked meow, just the leaves inside. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. and wait. Oh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> 153 kg. <laughs> Yeah. And this is for retail mm -hmm. selling. So first they pack the leaf, yeah. steam it, and just put the pack inside there, yeah, like that. Let, yeah. let it cool down yeah. Today is more sunny day, we finally arrive to the factory again. Today more workers. We continue to work on the kiln for a walk, for making shaksin or shampoo. Yeah, we will do it here. So here will be with two kilns. That's the first and second will be done soon. The guys have some experience, they made it before on the other factory. There are also guys preparing to build the second part of the floor, concrete floor. And after that we can actually put the rollers on. I get back to our land and here we can see the trees which just grow more and more now the trim trees almost all of them green you see the young buds so here we are again on our tea forest is one of the trees which is not trimmed at all some trees are already trimmed here and I, when i was here last time in the end of february it was almost no no leaves at it but here you see how much harvest go what's the difference then you see the big tree like that it's also like huge tree but there's no fresh buds almost yeah you can't harvest this is why we need to trim it and we have fresh buds yeah this way and it's the location the small plot we take like only this territory and all around is wild jungles so it's not nothing at all only trees around Just in our forest here we have a stream and it's very clean water this is actually very tasty water for tea and it's never dry out it's all the time still in even during the hot season so really proud of this source of water yeah, so here we go this is just a road small path to our next piece of land just a concrete jungle. <laughs> Walk around two kilometers, maybe even more. And finally they get to our longer, most remote plot of land where we have uh, not trimmed trees. So especially leave it as it was. Uh, just to cut a little bit of grass, that's it. And here we see a difference, yeah? So it's like that. But uh, they have as much less amount of tea from it because you see, some crops have the buds like here and we have last harvest last week here yeah but some some not like here especially down but the trees are really old you can see it here so it's around two maybe 300 years old even older 
I have a lot of trees on this plot. It's around one hectare. Yeah, Leonid, how much is it? Around one, one and a half. One and a half hectare here. Yeah, so we decided this land will be specially booked for our adopted, adopted tree program. Also, of course, you can adopt a, and trim it tree too, but uh, maybe appearance a little bit different <laughs> because it's specially trimmed for harvesting. But these trees, they just decided to leave it as it is. So it's jungle forest around, trees and nothing else. Just some grass, cut grass sometimes. They was cut at, uh, maybe around 20, 30 years ago. Some of them pretty up to the root, some of them a little bit higher, but still, yeah, this is a very beautiful plot of land with the tea trees. So this small path, our tea pickers used to bring the fresh leaves to the factory. <laughs> very beautiful small path. So how did up? Well, we was in the mountains. The workers here already almost finished the kiln. Yeah, so here is a walk. We filled up the empty space around to the broken bricks and some stones. I also prepared this for uh, ash. Yeah, so it's almost done. So we will do some shampoo here. <laughs> we get back to the place where we are withering our white tea and today it's almost done so we have uh, like to, tomorrow morning to take it mm -hmm. and after that we'll bring it to the other village to village Vavi. there is located a factory with a tea pressing so we make a tea cakes from this white tea only one bunch we also have a second already ready so we take it all and we have our own white tea cakes it's just a long We arrived at the place when it was yesterday. Very touristy tea plantation. Yeah, and uh, here the owners, they have a very funny restaurant. With a lot of dishes with uh, tea, actually. Also kind of Japanese snack with tea. But we have here a very special product. It's a tea cake. Tea cake from green tea. As we it. I believe that is kind of local matcha actually nothing special but at least it looks nice next dish which is made with tea so it's uh, omelette with fried egg with tea leaves we call it somehow pretty good even the leaves is good not bitter at all and um, maybe also energizing i didn't mention yet I can definitely recommend. One more try out. It's uh, tea leaves with kind of tempura. It's called a crispy tea leaves. Mm. Pretty tasty. And one more tuna salad with tea leaves, fresh tea leaves. Very spicy, very bitter. Mm. Good. Interesting thing that uh, all this. Uh, food with tea made from Assam tea leaves not from Ulum I first think that it's made from this but not it's from Assam so here's our technologist he's a very famous guy in the region Maitang so we have 
him on a wall. You next see, it's to a, the king. Next to the king. So we can just stay like that and say we just our friend. <laughs> And we back to our factory today in the morning again. So finally the workers they finish first walk or construction. It's already done. Yeah. Also fireplace here. Yeah, so also need to fix a little all of this. And it will be ready. Also, they build a small roof on the top, and uh, also the second walk will be here. But we wait for walk. Actually, we have only one now, but it will be enough. In a few days, we will have uh, harvesting, so it will be possible to do. Also, Leonid now talk to our construction guy to fix this soil near the factory because it can fall down during hard rain so we need to do some fixing for your height is okay but for me a little bit low but it's okay <laughs> we need to make it mostly fit for local people <laughs> let's check the height it's okay i i can like that i like a sigung stand yeah, yeah, yeah. Our white tea is already dried properly. You know, master already packed some, I see. Oh, he's just packing. Oh, it's done. Great. So we'll put it in the bags, bring back home to my, and we'll go to Wadi Village to press it in a few days later. expecting one more of our land because we have a different plots yeah here are some it's still not our land but we're going forward a little on this land uh, we have mostly uh, fruit trees but also tea trees together with fruit trees so it's kind of permaculture here uh, so it was before uh, agricultural land but it's yeah it's tea trees together with fruit trees all around some bigger, some smaller. So they have very different trees over here in Lychee. I love Lychee, local one, very tasty. Get back to the place where it was today in the morning and tried that elephant's poo tea. So maybe it will be possible to try it again because in the morning it wasn't possible. There's the owner of the place was not present, but maybe now. This is the tea actually what we already uh, tried today in the morning to smell but this is a little bit better but still very strange technology we have smoky aroma and also like hyper fermented mm, this looks like shen we can try both so it's a very interesting thing we'll try two absolutely strange teas which is one the owner called like Shenpur, the second he called like Shuper. But, but the taste actually it's not like aroma is not like Shu. It's like hyper fermented, over fermented tea. But we'll try. So he just invented his own technology, you know. <laughs> Oh. We have like, a lot of wood smell. Very strange uh, smell, but good material. Good <laughs> We 
arrived at one very special spot it's called Raksa and uh, it's kind of a resort but not resort actually it's kind of hot, not a hotel but just a spot for agriculture tourism and here we cut some pretty old tea bushes but very low for easy harvest and they made a very beautiful spot with restaurant very good design of the space we produce some tea black tea and an all on tea and green and also white and beautiful calligraphy over here and this composition wonderful equipment this is a new model of how companies uh, attract attention to their product just yeah make kind of result around and this way it works better of course so we try local tea is it true that it we won uh, the like best tea in the world medal yes. this one this yes, type this oh. one. <laughs> and uh, which place it was it, uh, it's uh, in Europe Germany. somewhere or uh, French uh, in Fr uh, France France Germany Oh. Uh, in US. Just white tea. I believe that uh, when some people want some kind of competition. For example, yesterday I won a competition like person over a year in tea market in Russia. But okay. There is another type of crispy tea leaves. Mm, and comparing to yesterday once, it's more tasty. More delicate, not too strong. And also some mushrooms. Mm. Let's try. And also we have uh, ice cream. One is El Grey Caramel, Thai tea, uh, also Masala tea, and also Blue Fly, this blueberry uh, local tea, which is, yeah, of course it's blue color. Mmm, looks pretty tasty. El Grey is perfect. And Thai tea, Thai tea maybe not so. Actually I tried better quality ice cream, but it's pretty nice to, for try at least. Today we have a beautiful morning with Leo and we're really trying our tea which was made by Yaroslav, <laughs> funny to say. My son, just a white tea, which was harvested uh, during our small travel around Maitang region. It's really different, kind of technological, can it be called. I just want to try the material. One is our Assamic trees, and two is from uh, Ulunti trees, uh, just a small local farms. So I'll try how it's going. What can be the taste of tea, which we just uh, grab by yourself and a little bit withering. What I want to say, we just tried a uh, few types uh, of white tea, DIY white tea. One is Assamica from Maori Forest, one is from Ulunti trees. It's pretty good, it's tasty and it's pretty fragrant, very lighter fruity taste, especially this one from Ulunts. The technological process is <laughs> very simple. You just harvest the leaves and a little bit weathering, drying in uh, shade, not in the, under the sun. In Chiang Mai, also located an uh, interesting factory which makes Celadon ceramics. It's similar to Lunxia and Zhejiang province tradition. Maybe also the roots of this factory maybe also belongs to China, I don't know. Uh, but it's pretty good and they have kind of showroom where I am now. It's uh, mostly discounted products with some, you see, some small shape problems, whatever, but also there is a bigger showroom. Mostly we have two kind of glazes, which is blue glaze 
and a green glaze which just really looks like classical Chinese Celadon pretty rough not very delicate ceramic but uh, I believe good quality middle class uh, mostly there is no gunfuchati wear I don't see it so it's like classical European style and also Thai style uh, tableware pretty good decorations sometime and of course a lot of elephants also here is a studio for masters artists who make hand painting of craft And here is the showroom of the factory and uh, with some ready works, pretty beautiful. I also bought a little for, for remembrance, yes, uh, and a lot of very delicate hand painting works. is famous for a lot of craftsmanship organic artists uh, some masters who do some interesting clothing and stuff you know a lot of natural products some small producers of something so it's like really really interesting to go and there's a lot of markets like that uh, when he was here last time in February also visited a few and this one just one of the few now it's almost closed because we arrived pretty late evening very creative space <laughs> I like this tree cola, root beer and it's natural okay craft soda where is lime? this is fresh fruit yes fresh fruit, lime okay yep. try it local soda Craft soda, 45 baht. Pretty tasty actually. And also shop of for local food. Pretty interesting. And local tofu. Very creative crowd here. So everywhere each each place is uh, have some special decoration. And it's very funny. Yeah, from the cans. They make bees. <laughs> wow. And I see these guys like North National Minority and I also have a bunk like in Yunnan, the same like in China. Because the same nations also live here in Northern Thailand. <laughs> famous tea villages in Thailand and we have one of our producers there who do gaba tea for us and yeah and by the way on the road here is a famous spot with uh, hot springs actually it's very hot springs enough hot to boil eggs and these ladies boiling eggs right over here
last time it wasn't my salon, it was a dark time, it was a late evening, so I didn't film this Louis statue, I just want to film it because it's a god of tea and Chinese tradition and also a lot of local people, mostly also Chinese. Here's some wulung tea trees over the here and some statues, it reminds me Taiwan. And now it's pretty hot, it's around 35 degrees. factory for our friend uh, he doing mostly gaba tea and red tea and, and we just tried a few types and one of my favorite is a uh, health fermented black tea i'll try to do tea cakes from it together with our white tea from our tea forest we'll also do some from Oum because here in my salon a lot of tea producers and our friend one of the best local ones who don't do big amount but do good quality so today we're going to Wavi Wavi village to make tea cakes and actually we also bought some semi product some semi fermented uh, black tea from uh, our friend here in my salon village and we're going today to Wavi tomorrow we go to factory to press the cakes and now we just visit a few friends here in my salon famous tea village maybe fa most famous tea village in Thailand morning we begin in scenic Vavi village where our friend have a good factory we will also uh, process some of our teas before while we established our project yet but still we also uh, cooperate with them very beautiful area actually and also kind of tourist location in the village and with a hotel if you are a slav who <laughs> flies small drone beautiful morning and today we will press our own white tea uh, from our tea forest and also tea from uh, our friend in my salon who made semi product red tea and also make small cakes this is asamic tea trees also have pretty big garden here and uh, nothing can be Better in the morning than just trying a fresh butt. Traditional Chinese breakfast. With some fermented tofu. And some <coughs> eggs, fake, fake butter, Don't. and some jam. <laughs> jam served in a bowl. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, uh, jam in a bowl. Very traditional. They arrived at the factory. Our leaves not brought yet over here. So some workers only start uh, the cleaning and preparing. Again on the factory in Wadi, and now we do two types of tea. First is a red semi-fermented tea from my salon, and second is our white tea from Tea Forest Project, which we're really proud of because it's our first tea cakes which we made in Thailand. Actually, in China they make it's already more than 10 years, so, but here we just start from very beginning. 
small tea factory, small amount. This first tea will be only 13 kilos and the second one will be around 20 kilos. That's it. So it's very limited edition tea and I'm really proud also about technology because the white tea, it will be from the ancient forest tea trees. And the red tea is a semi-product which is made by Taiwanese technology. Semi-fermented, not totally fermented. And we just take it yesterday from our friend in my salon village. With two types of tea, it's our first two cakes of tea forest project. And we will hopefully uh, make it more, more and more later on. But now it's just only a start. Also the process of tea cakes, if you've never seen it before, for example, maybe you've seen my older videos because I'm filming the same factories for more than 10 years, so I'm a little bit maybe used off. I've seen it for a long time, but I will explain it again. Actually, there we have a steam generator, which uh, run by the wood, and actually the wood is taken from the, uh, sometimes it's cut, even cut uh, tea trees or uh, some other wood, just wood, and they generate a steam, and the master there weight the tea, uh, put uh, in special form the leaves. After that, uh, put on the steam, after that put in a small fabric bag and after that press. Uh, you also need to do it, uh, maybe process looks a little bit simple, but it's not simple at all because you need to make the right shape, you need to do the right pressure, the master carefully look for how perfectly shape looks like, so it must be not like randomly pressed, you must put it in the center after tea cakes already pressed, it needs to dry. Sometimes it takes a few days if it's natural drying. I prefer to do natural drying, not to dry in a special drying shelves because this way the aroma and the fragrance will be much better. After drying, you remove this cover and uh, just the cake is ready and you need to wrap it in rice paper. That's it. This way we have a ready to go tea cake. We're just starting the process. And uh, here we do 200 gram cakes. Uh, first we started from the black tea, from our red Ulun tea, semi product from my salon. And now we just also the masters they adapt the pressure machine, make it a little bit more stronger because tea is pretty fluffy. The process of pressing our black red tea is finished. So we have a little bit more than 100 cakes here each one is 200 grams and now the work is preparing our white tea so yeah this is the material the leaf so we're preparing to press our next bunch it will be our own white tea from ancient tea trees yeah, yeah we put some <laughs> limited edition uh nefei how we call it in chinese it's uh, just a small piece of paper with my sign it will be only six of those and the rest will be like yeah without nefe because we was not very prepared this time <laughs> so we just have on the, the tea uh, without any packaging without uh, sign but yeah but we have a material at least so it's very limited as you see this is one and second pile so it's a white tea from ancient and old tea trees. So it's almost done. We have limited edition of our white tea from old tea trees. This is a uh, few cakes have this sign. If you find it, please let me know. <laughs> you will have a special present because only only six cakes have this small piece of white paper. The workers almost finished their job. We will have our white tea from old tea trees. market you can buy some fruits uh, vegetables some other goods and the main difference between other uh, village markets in here in Thailand 
<laughs> it looks like we are in China because for example these two women they listen to some news in Chinese and also yeah it's mostly inhabitant uh, here is speaking Chinese but also second third generation maybe not so good in Chinese language but still yeah it looks like traditional Chinese Wheels uh, and even the goods are a lot of goods originally delivered from China, even toilet paper <laughs> like this. It's a Chinese brand. Yeah. And here we was invited by uh, Chawavi company uh, to their garden. And here is a garden of few thousand tea trees. And this one is the oldest one. It's uh, more than 700 years old, even maybe more because it was counted somehow. But this looks like. The oldest tea tree in Thailand, I believe. Uh, if we count the tea tree, not like a wild tea tree, but tea tree, this is garden. We can harvest tea tree, harvest tea. And here they harvest around uh, one kilo of fresh leaf and do only uh, a little bit more than 200 grams of dried uh, maucha. And uh, this made specially for one client who bought actually rent this tree, also adopt a tree, can we can say, yeah. And, uh, and uh, so from this tree, it's possible to do this small amount and it's called Ike Shu in uh, uh, Chinese. But also, as uh, we told about uh, our uh, tea forest project, we have also smaller trees, but the same, it's around three, four hundred years old, not so old like this, but, uh, but still uh, we're just now exchanging experience uh, with the companies who also do similar thing. And uh, here they have around uh, uh, maybe uh, as I understood, around 200 rye. It's uh, maybe around uh, 10 hectares of uh, tea trees. And they mostly, the age is from uh, 50 years to three, 400, and this is like 700, 800 years old trees. And also interesting that uh, there is a old tea gardens in Hongsali, in Laos. And this one is even more older than Laos tea tree. Here we see again uh, the other few tea trees, which is Do Danru Cha, which is, uh, means that tea from only one tree, and it already belongs to some client each year. Do so you can't you can't drink this tea. We can also only look at the trees. <laughs> also, the other one, very old, more than 400 years old. How are you? Now little. Friend. <laughs> yeah. So this is just a fresh leaves. We arrived a bit later today. Tomorrow we also participate in harvesting. Yeah, and some leaves are almost ready to be roasted in wok but uh, now we need to check the material it all the time one bud and two leaves some buds are smaller a bit some is really big some is a little bit bigger than it must be like this but still later on we just remove this from the bunch but yeah these leaves was harvested during the morning and we are lucky that today is a good weather sunny enough no rain so leaf is dry because if it will be rain it will be complicated <laughs> to dry so we need to wait for a while and after what we will continue on roasting just bought more bamboo sheets for a uh, factory yeah and for cleaning uh, <laughs> for cleaning also yeah so now today we just already Harvest it freshly for Shenpuer and it's a good weather, so we go into factory to roast the leaves. Yeah, roast the leaves on a just build it walk. So it's a very fantastic moment. So back to basics. Now the leaf is ready for roasting, and the master also preparing the walk for. This man just we need a little bit heated up because it's not heat enough. And leaves are ready, are ready almost. So we will start.
just finished the roasting of our shed. <laughs> the lights on our factory is still not built. <laughs> so I see the help of our great team uh, here. Yeah, so uh, we just made around, it was 23 kilos of fresh leaves. So we have maybe, it will be around seven kilos of dry tea. We need around three, four days to make it ready. But uh, even maybe tomorrow we can even try. You can also drink this one also, just to try. It's just regular Shen Cha. So we need to try it's four bunches. One, two, three, four. Because the temperature in the wok was different. Like here, a little bit more fermented because it uh, was like a little bit low, too low temperature for making tea. But here on the fourth, we see like it's already like perfect. Yeah, so hopefully it will be good shen. We need to have a look. So it's very DIY in the beginning, but actually the good tea is DIY tea. We have a very fantastic moment. We have a first adopter of our tree. We have we mix with special wooden plates. Uh, they have the right name of the uh, person who support. And now it's uh, Ksenia and Vadim from Baltic country. I will write their name here on this adopted by, and uh, we put it on a tree. And uh, this we will do with each participant of our project. So really proud and this I keep for me and Leo because we also like a founders of the project and we put it also on one tree so now I just design design it and I write today's date because our, our adoption programs are working for one year and today is the 18th of May 2000 22 yeah it's a fantastic rainy day and we will put it on the tree and also on the same day we write it for perfect it's also a kind of attraction <laughs> because yeah you can travel in the truck and jungles all the time kind of attraction. All this road was built okay, by us know. and also these electricity cables is also ours because the area we was was abandoned for years and we almost arrived over here. Yeah. moment we were learning it together my partner <laughs> Hi, Lina. Okay. and yeah and we're just putting on the trees we first two wooden plates which is explain our adoption of the trees one is uh, Leo and Sergey which is we together for this tree and this is Ksenia and Vadim uh, they adopted this tree and they will put uh, the sign on this tree actually so yeah and we will harvest for them autumn shampoo as we ordered actually uh, you can easily also enjoy and also participate in our program. We have a lot of trees. The adopted ones will be a bigger ones. Also, like this one, this is around 100 years old, this is maybe even more, around 200 or something. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit trimmed, but some trees are bigger, some a little bit smaller. So the, those who are participating in the very beginning will adopt the biggest trees. Yeah, so we just decided this. So it's kind of a limited option. We have maybe a few hundreds of bigger ones and a little bit less. The first, first, sign and this is a video for Xenia and Vadim especially <laughs> yes yeah, so we put their name on this tree great 
And by the way, this uh, nice acacia wooden plates made from uh, sustainable wood. It's not uh -huh. it's cut in, and it's from fallen trees, salvaged and uh, sustainable wood. So we use such a nice wood also. And, uh, mm -hmm no chemical and uh, nothing else except the wood yeah so we just put these two first signs so we start a process again already for day now we cook more leaves fresh and actually we need more leaves a little the main thing here is the right move you must not push too much on leaves and spread them like that so my mistakes which i made when i only start this like keeping taking tea like that it's incorrect you may make it like this okay so the cooking the leaves make roasting kind of frying the tea it's almost done regularly it's around 15 to 20 minutes depends on the leaf some leaves you can oh, you know, a little bit start rolling over here like that The tea almost done, so we need to start rolling. Ah, you're just in time. I freed them because I still control the fire and they asked me, can I control the fire? I said, no problem. <laughs> 